They're one of the best teams in the state when it comes to girls basketball. And many people aren't even talking about them. The Fernley Vaqueros have quietly put together an 18 and two year and remain unbeaten in league play. Kurt Schroeder introduces us to this Lyon County power. There's a basketball team in Lyon County that feels disrespected. While well, 18 and two overall on the season and undefeated in the 3A Northern East Division, members of the Fernley girls basketball team say a handful of fans around the state count them out. But after a 48-47 win over Reno High, a power in the larger 5A class, perhaps this Vaqueros team has the horses to make people believers. It meant a lot. I mean, everyone was counting us out, so we just want to come out here and show them. Junior guard Jasmine Torres says the win over the Huskies further solidified a belief in the locker room. Fernley's goals are lofty, too. State, zone, regional, we want to take back, um, you know, everything that... Our teams before us started. The last Fernley team to make a state championship was the 2020 squad, a heartbreaking loss to Truckee. According to the NIAA record book, the school 40 minutes east of Reno has never seen one of its girls' teams win state. Could 2023 be the year? Head coach Ralph Dunn sure hopes so. They're a good group of girls, uh, and they love playing basketball, so it's kind of easy to to coach him because that's what they want to do. Dunn is at the helm after serving as an assistant coach. He says the girls grew up playing on the same team, so there's chemistry. They can run and gun, but also execute their half-court sets. Switching up defenses keeps the opposition guessing. In two months, we'll know if it's enough. In Reno, Kurt Schroeder, Colloid Sports.